Today we're going to be reviewing Kudo Miner, so let's mine away. Hello guys, welcome back to Be True to your host, Mark. We'll turn to this video where review on Kudo Miner. Now, this miner is becoming one of the best miners, in my opinion, in the cryptocurrency space. As you can see, Kudo Miner is built by the miners for the miners, and they have roadmaps, okay, and they have been seen, okay, you know, on big news agencies like BBC and Forbes. So we have the real deal up in here. So Kudo Miner is even simpler than NiceHash and even better. So if I would recommend it to a friend, I would re recommend Kudo Miner. So to download it, you just go to their section, download, everything is on their page. Okay, you click on the download and then you will be redirected and it will be downloading and after that you will have to create an account then after signing up you will have an email about welcome to kudo miner which is really interesting then after you log in you have like different things up in here for example you can actually auto keep it mined and you can get the payment currency you have multiple currencies you can get paid in ravencoin while mining monero for example which is really awesome also you have another platform kudo donate kudo gamer Kudo miner. Anyways, let's sign up like that. Yay! So we have a total balance of 5,000 bonus, which is really interesting. So they have like a different thing. Okay, they have like you know um, referrals, which you can actually refer people. Okay, this is will be my referral link down below. So if you want to sign up, they have two referral levels, which is really interesting though. Okay, also you have here the transactions section. Okay, 5,000 satoshis, and they deal in satoshis right here, just like honey miner. Anyways, uh, 5,000 Satoshis, nothing too much up in here. You have the devices, configurations, and labels. And basically, this is it. Basically, when you download it for Windows, here you will have it. And then you can to log in. My login is Mark Mark. Okay, I'm not going to use that because I don't mind as much anymore. At least on the computer I'm using it. At. Anyways, enable thir 30 um, third party miners. Sorry. Okay, also you have like launch. It's really easy to be honest. Enable overclocking settings. No, we will change it. Actually, I made a video on how to overclock your GPUs. Link on the right if you want to watch that. So save. We have 5,000 Satoshis. Okay, now it will benchmark, um, you know, automatically, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, you have the CPU enabled. No, no, stop that. Okay, we're back again. So as you can see right here, you can actually enable and start benchmarking. I don't want to benchmark because right now, for example, you know, this is not my miner. Okay, my miner is down in the basement. So if I want to turn that, I would turn it on Kudo Miner. But interesting features, you have average utilization, okay, maximum temperature. You have also the wattage. It's really interesting. This application is one of the best. GPU usage limit, which you can limit, like maybe you want to mine on idle, okay, you put on 10%, okay, maybe 30, or even 50, you know, so you don't actually have, like, really high temperatures, maybe, okay, and they have, like, the early adopter program, this is for uh, people who love referral programs, okay, you can refer people, they can mine, you get a fraction, like, we both get 5,000 Satoshis on sign-up bonus, which is really interesting, okay, and I think it's 10,000, like even that, okay, 10,000 plus 5,000, that's 50, 15,000 Satoshis. What is better than that? It's really interesting, I mean, the referral program is more stable, okay, they have like two stages and they're dealing in Satoshis, yes, like they're fractions of a cent, but it's really interesting. The statistics, you have elapsed time mining, so you can see how much days you have been mining for example let's say I've been mining for 18 days it's really interesting to see that fact this is hundred times better than nice hash I mean nice hash is just the past nice hash is just the old garbage to be honest and like sorry to say that but nice hash like even though one of the most viewed videos on my channel is about nice hash I think still does not deserve that much traffic and I believe kudo miner is doing a really good job by actually Putting this early adopter program and actually using marketing techniques so they bring people. Now maybe after a year from now or two years you're going to watch this video, okay? And you're going to say maybe, you know, Kudo Miner is just a garbage, you know, Kudo Miner is nothing, Kudo Miner is not good, you know, depends because we don't know, maybe they're the good guys, maybe with time they're going to change their business, you know, things, we're not sure. 
to be honest I'm not sure okay to be precise and more than that you know um, as of current right now 2019 they're all good you know you have the CPU enabled all features working I think they're still updated to their current Wow other payment coins edit payment coin guys I'm just getting more and more excited about this project wait why should I sign up I just logged in a minute ago anyways so you have edit payment account uh, pay payout coins other payout coins like ethereum monero raven coin now to start mining i think it benchmarks without telling you what are you really benchmarking i think so uh let's launch uh, the msi afterburner let's see our uh, card uh no i i will update it later anyways uh let's put the fan speed at 50 okay now maybe some lag will happen but we're going to see Let's put that at 80 okay no crazy stuff and let's start benchmarking shall we okay now it will benchmark I don't know what it will do actually it shows you the power usage so you don't have to buy the watt meter or whatever it's called you know the thing that you put you know to see how much your wattage I never used one personally anyways um, uh, the settings okay let's review the settings you have the CPU uh, and GPU we covered that Boswin computer in use that's really interesting feature for people who want to mine at idle okay you can schedule use which is wow that's insane now for people like Dave tech where they have like you know hydro electricity schedule use is going to be really really you know handy for such people that have for example at certain hours the electric electric rate is cheap or something some people will calculate it that way and people that have like big mining facilities are going to enjoy that feature the schedule use is a really interesting feature embedded inside the miner launch on startup okay automatically start kudo miner now I don't believe you need that because if your computer is like the main use okay maybe gaming or stuff what if your for example brother or father comes and opens the computer and all of a sudden kudo miner jumps out of the you know out of windows and then starts mining and then the heat goes insane and then that your gpu breaks i believe you should keep that on off you know i just believe that okay and uh, earn when started okay begin mining automatically um what is the difference i think maybe when started they mean about the miner increased profitability 30 third party miners now i had the other day a person on discord contact me Okay, about third party miners. Okay, they had an error with nice hash precisely because when he agrees, something happens with the CPU device, uh, GPU, I mean, drivers. I'm not sure ha what's happening with his GPUs, but it's really interesting that you can actually edit everything from the settings menu. That's really, really interesting. Also, you will not need this, just you know, uh, use your you know, MSI afterburner. Again, we made a video on that. Advanced settings let you. Uh, let you optimize your configuration for mining use of advanced settings can cause damage to processing so what is the advanced settings yo yo this is getting more interesting so they're they're showing you the algorithms you're benchmarking which is at least interesting okay so they're benchmarking my other card temperature on that is 52 what but they didn't show that in the minor menu, right? Anyways, uh, 42, uh, 42, not much. Okay, on F hash. Okay, um, not much going on. So the minor, it doesn't show. Where's the second GPU? Um, not much. But, you know, about this minor, to be honest, I'm really ex excited for this. Okay, um, I believe they should actually add more uh, minor, uh, more algorithms. Like on NiceHash, you have a lot of algorithms, but some of them don't have any use. So maybe that's, you know, that's just a think of mine. I believe they should delete EquiHash out of this, okay? So you don't, like, mine something, you know, useless, okay? The CPU, okay, benchmark required. No CPU enabled. And it's just benchmarking. I'm going to stop the benchmarking because that is messing up with my PC right now. And it's really interesting, you know. I believe this is a really interesting start. They have a Discord community. Discord Lite. Wait, what is that? Um, let's check this out, guys. 
So, Kudo Miner. Join Kudo Miner. Let's go, Kudo Miner. So, uh, let's put this in here. And as you can see, they have a full community up in here. So, this review is getting better and better, you know, guys. It's. Uh, I just have. I don't have any words, to be honest. Um, I think this community is a bit new, okay, like not even a month old. Kudo Miner itself is like like three months old while Nashash is just like years and years inside the cryptocurrency market. Anyways guys, this has been my quick review on Kudo Miner. There's not much to discuss because it's really easy to use and this is the interesting part about, nice, uh, about Kudo Miner. And I believe like Kudo Miner is the step forward to mining. Okay, I should uh, start mining with it on my other rig and see what I can actually get out of Kudo Miner, see how much I can make. So it would be a really interesting journey with Kudo Miner and seeing a new miners coming out really recently like Honey Miner, Kudo Miner and more. And more than that guys, thank you for watching and see you guys on the next video.